It's coffee time. Sometimes when I go to lift my mug, the <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to even explain this. Sometimes I go to lift my mug and you know I always have the spoon because it's a weird tick that I have. I always have to have the spoon there, but when I lift up the mug, I have to hold the spoon in place with either my index finger or my thumb. So in this situation, it's the thumb, right? And as I go to take a drink, the spoon started to drift and like float a little and then you're like, oh no, I'm not actually holding it in any sort of a place and it's going to make weird noises. These are the strange things that happen when you decide that you must always have a spoon in your mug. I've been getting better about it. You guys have probably noticed. No, you haven't noticed. <laughs> I don't know why you would notice that. I have been using spoons in my mugs less and I've felt proud of that. It's mostly because the mugs, when I have coffee but I don't put sugar in it. That's normally when the when the okay zone happens because I'm like, no, I don't need to dirty a spoon when I'm not mixing anything into my coffee. This is silly. And I feel a burp coming and I'm not sure when it's going to happen or if it's just going to diffuse. Okay, I think I got rid of it. I think we're okay. I think we're good. Another thing I've noticed, I use the index finger when I'm picking it up with this hand. But if I'm picking it up with this hand, I usually use my thumb. Why, you ask? What a great question. It's not, it's not a question that matters at all. And I have no answer, so. <laughs> Hi, how are you guys? You might not have noticed, because I still have both of my lamps on, because this is like recent, as in like the last few minutes. But we now have regular electricity. I have my regular overhead lights on. There's no guarantee that we won't catch fire and die, but I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> we, um, the one that most of the water, the light fixture that most of the water was coming out of, we are not turning that one on yet. That's not a thing that's happening. But the one in the bathroom can now turn on. And the ones in my bedroom can now turn on. Oh my gosh, you guys, this means no more showers where you feel like you might get killed and and going to the bathroom won't be scary. Oh, so many things. And I can make news. Like, this week, I mean, sometimes I have hectic days, as you guys know. This week, I've been involved in a lot of test shoots for things, which means that we shoot something and then I get a call where they say, hey, do you think you can come in tomorrow again? Because we just need to fix this one thing. So I go in and we, we fix it. And then and then I get another call. It's like, hey, could you come in for, for this other thing? So I've been, like I was saying, I've been in lots of shoots, lots of meetings this week of, uh, of differing sizes and lengths. But it means that when I get home and I have to make news, uh, sometimes I wind up sitting there and going, like this last news episode that I put up is so dark because I couldn't, I couldn't get it to work. Um, and Monday, that's why I didn't make news because I was like, man, this just looks, people are going to hate this. Like this should not exist, but it actually, it wound up doing okay, which is, which is sweet. That's nice of you guys. But, uh, yeah. I'm so I went to take a drink, and I felt, not when I went to take the drink, but as I pulled away from the cup, I felt a hair, like, as though the cup was the tramp from Lady and the Tramp, and I was the lady, and we had spaghetti between our mouths. It was like that, except it was a hair, and this is a mug of coffee, so I was a little concerned, but I think I got rid of it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Ugh. I did a silly thing today. I went on Amazon because, okay, uh, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe came in the mail and so did Persona 4 Golden. Yeah, I'm very excited. Everybody told me that this is basically the sign that my life is going to end. So I'm going to start playing it after I get back from uh, Mother's Day weekend with my parents. But, um, What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So these things were supposed to come. I have Amazon Prime. So it's supposed to come in two days. Sometimes that means three days, depending on what time of day you ordered the thing. So I was like, all right, so two to three days is when these things will show up. And they showed up like a day later. 
I ordered these yesterday. I was like, oh, this is awesome. So I sat and read all of Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, which is very, it's very small. It's very short. And I was like, oh man, I wish I had bought Deadpool Illustrated at the same time. I'm very excited. Like, I wish I had bought so many other things. And so I went on Amazon. I was like, okay, don't just buy things willy nilly. Don't impulse buy stuff. But if there's something that you think would be magical, then, you know, ga gauge in your mind whether or not you should buy it. So lately, I've been far more into nail polish than I've ever been in my entire life. I have no idea why. It's something that when I'm watching a show, sometimes I'll look at my nails and go, oh, one of them has started to chip. Guess it's time to change the color. And I'll just take all of it off and then do a completely new color. But I don't have, because I've never really been into nail polish, I have black, blue, I have that Zerg green and orange. Those are literally the four colors that I have. And that's all that I've had for a really, really long time. And so I was on Amazon and looking around and I was like, I wonder, because nail polish is expensive, which is dumb. I was like, I wonder if I could get like a bunch of nail polishes at once and have it be cheaper. So I found somebody was selling China Glaze is the name of a company that makes nail polish. You should know that before this. So I'm like on Amazon and I type in nail polish. And then one of the first things that shows up is China Glaze 2012 Spring Collection, which made me laugh because I've never once in my life thought of nail polishes as having a spring collection or a summer collection. That was hilarious to me. One of them was called By the Pool. Or, or Beachside. Oh my gosh. Guys, they have hilarious names for, like, lines of nail polish. Oh my gosh. I was looking through so many of them. And I was just giggling to myself. But then I wound up buying one. I bought a set. I bought, I bought a spring collection of a type of nail polish. And I'm like, I'm not ashamed of myself. But there's a part of me that's like, I better use all those. You know? I'm just like... I can't have bought these and not utilized them because I bought quite a few at the same time and for very cheap. So I'm like, all right, I know it's like a company I like. I know that it's going to be like good nail polish. So I just have to, I have to use it. <laughs> I can't, I can't just buy it and then just not use it. So I think that we're in a good place here. <laughs> nail polish wise, I think that we're in a really good place. Uh, did I buy anything else while I was on Amazon? I don't think so. I think that's all I got. And then I went, self, you got to stop. And I made myself stop and not order anything else. <laughs> I almost bought more Deadpool, though. Because I don't... The only Deadpools that I own... Um, I had a friend who had, like, all of them in college. And then I've just tried to, like, keep up with them as I've been out of college. But the only ones that I own are... I own a Deadpool and Cable... I own Deadpool versus the Marvel Universe. I own. Uh, I own a Deadpool and Friends. And what's the one? It's a it's a title that's similar to Deadpool versus the Marvel Universe, where it's him and Wolverine. I know we Google things almost every episode, but this is how we get things done. Okay. Deadpool Wolverine cover. Um, nope. Oh no, there are lots. <laughs> they're like, guys, they're Weapon X, of course. Deadpool. What's the one? Dang it. I will know it if I look at it. I could just go and grab it, but I feel like that would take a lot of time. <sighs> no, it's not Wolverine and Deadpool. Although I should own those because they're like my two of... I, could, I shouldn't say that they're my favorite Marvel people, but I have an affinity for Wolverine because he's a biddy. Everybody's always like, oh, should I Wolverine? And he's like, I'll cut you. And I love that. And then Deadpool is just cray cray. And then I've, I always loved Spider-Man because I wanted to be Spider-Man. Shoot, what is this Deadpool? Marvel cover... Wolverine. Oh, 
that's not gonna. There it is. Oh, so... It's a collection is the problem. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna give up. But I have another one. <laughs> I have another one that's like a, not an anthology, but it has. Or would that be the right word? It has like a bunch of different shorter stories all shoved into a thing like that. It's Deadpool and Marvel. In some, both of those things are in the title, and I can't remember. But, uh, yeah. I love Deadpool, and I love Wolverine, and I love... A bunch of people have been asking me if I can do a... Because Deadpool Kills Deadpool is going to be coming out. The only... Um, the only comic review that I've ever done was the very first volume of The Walking Dead. And everybody's always like, why don't you do more of those? I'm like, because I have a gaming channel. But, uh, yeah, everybody was asking if I could do, like, a, almost like a summary of what happens in, uh, Deadpool vs. the Marvel Universe and Deadpool Kill Illustrated before Deadpool Kills Deadpool comes out, but I feel like they're not that long. I feel like you guys should just seriously, like, just read them. Literally, you could, no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I was going to say, literally, you could go to a comic book store and just read it in the comic book store. But I don't want to perpetuate that because that always drives me nuts because I'm like, comic book stores need our support to stay alive. So don't go, don't be rude. Don't go to a comic book store and just read it in the comic book store and then not buy it because that's rude. These are my feelings. But I know a lot of people have done that. <laughs> I'm like, mm. Anywho. Uh, yeah. I hope that you guys had a good day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Tomorrow I leave for Palm Desert. I will still try to upload from there because my parents have internet, and I'll just take my laptop, and it should be fine. Um, and I will upload from home before I leave tomorrow. So Saturday and Sunday are the only days where it might be, like, a little sketchy, but we'll see. And I'll tweet and keep you guys updated. Um, but, yeah, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mwah. Oh, kitty.